how to update Amelia. Welcome back guys, my name is Alexander and I will guide you through the update process of Amelia. Now, we will cover updating from light to the full versions and also from lower to the upper tiers. Um, for some reason, there are some issues on some WordPress installations, not on all, so we will try to cover those as well and uh, I will try to be as precise as possible to help you guys with the update process. Now, the first uh, thing that I want to show you is how to update Amelia from Lite to the full version. Now, this is Amelia Lite. How can I tell? Because it's version 1.1.2, which is also visible on wordpress.org. The current version is 1.1.2. Also, when you hover over Amelia, you will see these stars that indicate that you are using a light version and you'll also have this light versus premium um, section that you can simply click and see what's included in light, what's included in starter, st uh, starter, standard, pro and elite licenses. So, for example, you just purchased uh, Amelia standard and you want to upgrade. So what do you do? You need to log into our store. So store.tms-plugins.com. Uh, once you purchase the plugin, uh, you will receive an email with the link to the store where you can set up your um, password and log into the store to access your licenses. So here we go. For, for example, I purchased Amelia Standard. So I download it. And once I download it, I up uh, upload it into WordPress. So I'm saving the file. And now in Lite, If I was to access any of the settings that uh, require a full version, I will see something like this. For instructions on activating, please refer to our up upgrade guide and you will see that this is not available for uh, light, light licenses, so you need to upgrade. But again, what's also important to note is that once you purchase the full version of Amelia, it doesn't automatically upgrade from light to the full version. The full version needs to be installed and this is how you do it. So go to plugins, add a new plugin and simply click on upload. Choose the file that you previously downloaded and simply click on install now. WordPress will do its thing. It will tell you that there's already uh, a, a plugin on that location. So it's going to warn you, do you know what you're doing? You're going to replace the plugin with the, the plugin of the same name. Yeah, that's what we want. So it's unpacking the package. It's installing the plugin. It says the destination folder already exists. And yes, we want to replace uh, version 1.1.2 with 7.4.3. So simply click on replace current with uploaded. And once it's done, we will simply need to activate it. And that's basically it. You will be uh, upgraded to the latest version of the full plugin, not the light one. So here we go. Unpacking the package, updating the plugin, removing the current plugin, which was Amelia Lite. And here we go. Plugin updated successfully. Okay. What I always suggest after every installation or uninstallation, use uh, a caching plugin. In this case, we're using Lightspeed Cache to purge all cache. After each installation, upgrade or uninstallation, whatever, just purge the cache. The data was uh, reset, optimized successfully, the cache was purged successfully, and now when I hover over Amelia, I don't, even, I don't see those stars indicating that I'm using light. I'm seeing what's new, which is the change log. Now, if I go back to installed plugins, I can see that Amelia is on 7.4.3. And if I access, for example, I now can see the employees section, which was not there in light. Here's why I said that purging cache is uh, mandatory because in this case, for some reason, I'm not able to access anything because something's wrong with my local installation. So let's just Control F5 to purge the cache from my browser, and here we go. Now, here you've got some troubleshooting techniques for the uh, upgrade process. 
which is useful not only for Amelia but for other plugins. If the if purging the cache from your website doesn't work correctly, you can always hit Control F5 on your keyboard, and uh, that would be the hard reset to purge the cache of the page that you're viewing. So back to upgrading. We can now add an employee which was available in the settings section of Lite. If you previously created uh, an employee in the Lite version of Amelia, uh, it, he or she will be present in here. I haven't because that was a fresh installation, but just so you know. Um, updating from uh, standard to pro or elite licenses is basically the same. And you will notice the difference because the standard license should not have packages or resources. So when you click on packages, it says interested in unlo unlocking this feature available from pro license. So if you upgrade or purchase, if you, up, if you purchase a new license and want to create resources or packages and you bought it and you went back to the store. So let's say you bought Elite Lifetime. We would be thankful if you did. And you click on download again. It downloads the file with the same name. So don't be confused. Every time you download Amelia, it will be Amelia Booking. A zip file that's called Amelia Booking. It will not be Amelia Standard, Amelia Pro, Amelia Elite. It will always be Amelia. So don't let that confuse you. And if it does, make sure to rename the file once you start downloading it so you know which version you have. Now, when the file downloads, again, you need to install it on top of the existing installation. But my advice would be to access settings, activation, and make sure that this is disabled. So delete Amelia content is disabled. This feature will delete everything you've created in Amelia if you delete the plugin from here. So if you click on deactivate, it will ask you again, do you want to delete uh, tables, roles, f uh, files and settings once Amelia is deleted? Currently, no, because we don't want to do that. If you click on delete, it will delete everything. But if you leave that setting uh, disabled, it will keep the database in case you need to delete the plugin to troubleshoot something and then install it back. Anyway, let's get back to updating. So again, add a new plugin, upload the plugin, choose the file and install now. It will say that we're using the same version because it's still 7.4.3. The only difference is that this is now an elite license plan, which includes everything, including API packages and resources. So here we go. It's asking, do you want to replace it? Because this plugin is already installed. Yes, replace the current with uploaded. And there we go. The plug is, is now installed. We can activate it. And now we should be able to access um, Amelia services and see the packages and resources as available as it is regarding the older versions of Amelia. Since this is a local installation, um, I will just use a live website where we test everything with Amelia before we release it. And I will upload the, one of the previous versions of the plugin and uh, I will attempt to show you what it looks like when I install an outdated version and what WordPress is going to show. Now, I'm installing uh, 7.4.1, even though 7.4.3 is currently available. So again, WordPress warns me that I'm installing uh, an older version of the plugin, which is okay for testing purposes. And uh, I now need to enter my purchase code under settings, under activation. Once the purchase code is entered in here, you will see that your purchase code has been hidden for security reasons. You can see it in your store. Under plugins, um, Amelia will be, show, will be showing its current uh, version, 7.4.1. And here you see the notice that says there is a new version of Amelia available. Update now. So you can either enable auto update so it does update once during the day 
or you can simply click on update now wait for it to download the new uh, update from our store update it and that's it once again when you update plugins not just Amelia any plugins that you have any theme that you have on your website please purge your cache so either install a, a caching plugin or reach out to your hosting provider and remember control f5 if something doesn't lo load in the page that you're viewing so once you purge the cache once it's done you can see version 7.4.3 another option if you're unable to perform an auto update go through dashboard updates check for the new version again select it in here and click on update plugins that will also work um, <clears throat> I hope you guys like this video and I hope I covered everything. If I haven't, please mention that in the comment section below. And while you're there, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos. Take care, guys. Bye bye.